Come on, come on. I can't eat the ox tail because like, I've never tried it. <laughs> Splashed it, you even got it on the lens. <laughs> Hello, my name's Leighton. Welcome back to the channel. I've got two things I want to cover. A review of a far from hip hung and a muncha, which I'll also review at the end from Kai in Inala. But before we begin, yes, I have seen that video. A lot of concerned citizens have emailed me directly saying, have you seen it? And yes, I'm pleased to announce I was featured in someone's YouTube video last week. Famous YouTuber over in the States, Jason Farmer. This guy is phenomenal. He's the guy behind that Chinese fried rice recipe video that's racked up close to 10 million views. And it's a crazy story because I woke up one morning and there was this long, long email said hey i love your work i love your recipe i love your methods can i adopt it for my upcoming video and i said sure knock yourself out so he dropped that video last week and the, the channel's been slowly blowing up and i did say to him i'm not ready to be famous yet because it just doesn't happen to people like me so it still feels surreal at the moment but i'm very humbled and just honored to be honest so for the people over from jason's channel a very warm welcome we've got this little bromance thing going on so expect a collab between the two of us in the near future now there's a couple of other people i want to acknowledge a family from perth who flew six hours from the west coast of australia to come to my store have a bowl and visit me except i wasn't there and i feel so bad so what happened was monday night five o'clock and this family turns up unexpectedly no booking i was at the gym i was at my f45 class by the time i got back they were already on their way out so i feel terrible because perth is a very long way from brisbane but i had a chance to speak with hung and uh, some of the kids who called me uncle so that was very sweet but yeah, no opportunity to have an extended chat or a photo. The second person, Kung and Eddie, who came in and had the DB9 last week. Kung is from Germany, all the way over there. He's flown back to visit his parents in Brisbane and he had to try my bowl and he gave it the thumbs up. So thank you guys for visiting. And another person who flew all the way from Las Vegas to also visit me and have the DB9. She is the owner of a Las Vegas restaurant. And without revealing any names or identities, she also gave me the rundown of the landscape over in America and in Las Vegas. So I cannot wait to get over there. Oh, what's your verdict, sir? Very nice. Now moving on to the topic for today's video, I had an incredible bowl of pho at Hip Hung. This thing was tremendous. Give it a rating 1.1 to 10. I am sorry. Two, nine. nine. Hey, why did you copy <laughs> me again? <laughs> you, you always copy each other. Noah and I scored it very highly, nine out of 10. It's a Northern style pho or a pho buck. What is this? Oh, this is a new place, remember? It was like there was a white wood. So to tell you a little bit about Hip Hug, it's this new store that's opened up, probably about four months now. And I came across it in my last video. And whenever I come across a new store, I bookmark it. So we came back the following week, I sat down and had this bowl. How's that look? You can't see me. That is a massive bowl. It's bigger than your head. And man, this bowl was massive. Like I've never seen a bowl so big. Then I started to question whether I accidentally ordered the 
extra option because it was so generous. Lots of noodles, lots of meat, and by far the best bang for your buck in Inala. I think they make their beef balls here. Tastes homemade. Mm. Now the highlight for me, the Bavian or the beef balls. It was house made. Now this store specializes in making chilo or pork clove. So that's what they, well that's their point of difference. And they also make house made Bavian, which was out of this world. Now to give you some perspective, every other restaurant uses Bavian that is mass produced by one of three suppliers, Gims, Viet Hung or Sing Sing. And at this point, I need to reveal that I'm the distributor for Jello Sing Sing in Brisbane. Those who don't know what Jello is, I'm gonna do an unboxing. I can get this open. This is Jello. It looks like this. It's the equivalent of ham that you find in supermarket shelves. You eat it with bread. I have this every morning with sourdough, with a bit of bo pate, soy sauce. Goes hard. It's like the breakfast of champions. Although I love Sing Sing, they're Australia's number one brand of Jalor, and I use their Bolivian every day across my stores. I felt this one, this one from Hip Hu tasted better. The size, the texture, the taste, it's just completely different. So if you want a unique tasting Bolivian, if you're making pho at home, this is a great alternative and they sell it by the kilo. <laughs> now moving on to the broth, as soon as I tasted it, I knew it was different. The way in which the taste comes on, the sweetness, it's completely different. Like I've explained this many times in my videos, but a fumbuck and a southern pho, which you find at most restaurants, they've got different personalities. And I knew it was different, but I couldn't confirm this until the very end. When I noticed auntie was sitting behind me, I turned around, I said to her, Go ai whanei ratlang on, what's the story? And she told me a bit about the family's history. <laughs> How they're from a town in northern Vietnam called Thanh Hoa, which happens to be my grandparents' hometown. So we share that in common. And in Vietnamese culture, your hometown or your hood or your quê is very important. And the family's business dating back to their time in Vietnam is making chalo. Now, auntie's name is Yip. Her brother, Hip, and his daughter, Hương, who served me at the counter. So that is the origins of this store's name, Hip Hương. <coughs> So I want to say a quick thank you to Arnie and Uncle Gammon Go Gammon Jul for sharing the story about this bowl. It was honest. It's got this home style feel, and I know whoever cooked it cooked it with a lot of passion, a lot of love, a lot of care, as you would expect from a brand new store. We've got a point to prove. All right, my so that was Hip Hung. Highly recommend them. My uncle, my blood's yellow. I'm going to make myself up a noise plate. Now, moving on to the second half of the video, I'm going to talk about a buncha, which I had at Kai in Inala. Kai meaning smoke. And as you can probably guess, they do charcoal food. One of them being buncha, which is one of the most famous exports that come out of uh, northern Vietnam. It's the dish that the former president, Barack Obama, made famous. And I actually sold this four years ago. 
here at my store, called it Wuncha Obama. So, Mum and I rocked up a Sunday night after church. Took Mum to the uh, six o'clock down in Inala, and after that, we drove down, decided to have a meal at Chai. They're located in Saigon Plaza, and they occupy the store that used to be Buncha. So if you don't know the story, Buncha, Buncha, which sells Buncha, <laughs> they signed a lease for this brand new store, put a ton of money into it, renovating it, setting up the kitchen, fit out, and they were going for a while. But something happened, and they got locked out. There was a dispute with the landlord. Eventually they got kicked out. And I've heard the rumors, but I don't know how true they are. So I don't want to get into it. But the next people to come in were Kai. Uh, they took over. They're doing a fantastic job. Uh, Mum and I, we ordered the Buncha and the Bundok Mum Thorm, two very traditional northern dishes. And uh, this store, I guess, specializes in doing northern style food or do anbak and uh, we absolutely enjoyed it we smashed our meals and just looking around all the other tables everyone was pretty much having the same dishes that's why people come here the service was friendly the food came out quick the meat was marinated well uh, cooked to perfection and the dips were on point and you know how I know it was good because mum didn't say anything and usually she's oh, she's the fussiest person to eat with. Everywhere I take her, she's you know, sitting there eating and complaining. But that night, she didn't say anything. Oh, with the exception, they only gave us one type of mint when these two dishes are meant to have like a spread of different types. And uh, it makes sense because, you know, you got Thai Hua, you got Fat Thai, you've got a dozen other Vietnamese grocery stores that sell an assortment of Vietnamese mints so I don't know why they only gave us one so she was blowing up about that because mum is she eats everything with a lot of veggies a lot of rau and she loves her rau term so that's the only complaint apart from that highly enjoyed it as I said the menu running through it it's just a refreshing change you know they got stuff I don't recognize and I like that when I go out because I can go to 20 other you know Vietnamese restaurants around the corner and flipping the page it's like a copy and paste job it's the same old shit even their drink menu was different I had this tamarind sour drink and I had this jam or dessert which wasn't sweet and I love things that don't have too much sugar in it because everyone does sugar 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 so that's, I guess that's a trait of Northern style food. Uh, they use less sugar in their cooking. Well, that's what people say anyway. But look, apart from that, highly enjoyed it. And on the night I was having dinner there, I didn't shoot any B-roll. So apologies for the lack of, but I sent a text out to my some of my staff with a photo of my dinner and uh, they replied, Oh yeah, we go there all the time. So it's comforting to know that uh, this store is uh, very popular and I recommend you try it next time you're in Inala. They do Northern style food, as I said, which at the moment in uh, Sydney is very hot. You've got the likes of Hung Sua and all those other stores up in Marrickville where all the Northerners live. And that is it for today's video. A quick review of Hip Hung and Kai. Now, I've got a ton of LSP to send out. One going to Louisville, Texas. La Haina, Hawaii. Shipped a couple over there. Haymarket, Virginia. St. Petersburg, Florida. So this video that Jason Farmer's done for me it's going to keep me busy for a very long time. My name's Leighton. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, that's it for today's video. And please, please like and subscribe and share this with all your families and friends.